Okay, okay, come on. Hey guys. Team, first time we're golf. There we go. My boys. Oh, yeah. Yes, sir. Get in here, baby. Are you related to Jack oh, oh, That's my grandpa. Oh, yes, sir. Really? Yeah. I'll tell you what, he's a great guy. Perfect. Are you, uh, are you from Columbus yourself? Or? Yeah, well, no, actually, we're from I, we live in Mount Murray. It's not oh, very good. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Great I was good. up there just this past weekend. You're, you live in your field? Yeah. Well, oh, Columbus. Ohio, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Where so, do you live? North Palm Beach. Yes, sir. Well, the next time you come, uh, if, you, if you give us your card, yeah. we can yeah. uh, We have a really nice golf course. Uh, not as good as I like it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> not as good as you probably want to Crazy, right? Yeah. 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 Uh, we ended up owning a country club. Actually, um, yeah. I think a good friend of mine. Yeah. 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 He's going to sit in the middle. Yeah. 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 Wow. Yeah, but it's a really well, nice is it near Yeah, it's uh, 50 miles away. Uh, and then Tom also so walks. Carefully, I'm going to get around and, and do a picture of mine. Some people may not want their pictures taken. All right. Just be aware of that. I'm just a president. Yeah, that's okay. I'm just no, no other people. No, no other people. We go to Fairfield with them every year. Yeah. I'm sorry. Yeah. 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 All right, everybody, once again, the president, thank you for being here. Please. They have good jeans, the Jack Nicholas jeans over there. <laughs> you get a putting lesson. I missed the golfing I jeans. So Jackie is your father? Yes, sir. So he made, I don't know if you've ever heard this, he made the best speech, one of the best speeches I've ever seen. In the rotunda, right? That was uh, during the uh, Congressional Medal, Medal right. of Honor, right? Yes, sir. The Congressional, whatever it is. Yes, sir. Freedom Medal. The Freedom Medal, yes, sir. Which is the big deal. And your father made one of the best speeches I've ever seen. Well, thank you. And that's pretty good. I've seen a lot of speeches. Yeah. I'll tell you said that. <laughs> but I said, are you a professional speaker? He said, no. I said, then maybe you should be. Right? Well, I'll tell you, he's a, he's usually very nervous public speaking, like was, I am right now. But, <laughs> <laughs> but uh, no, he, 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 we we're very happy for him. He, he did great. So thank you. So what is it? Your cousin or whatever had the hole in one the other day? Yes, sir. That was something. Yeah, His swing team. looks good. How good a golfer is he? Much better than me. But <laughs> no, his swing looked like He's a real player. His swing. 15 years old. Perfect. Yeah. He has the gene, I guess, right? Yeah, it's getting me. But. <laughs> did, did, why, are you not that good of a golfer? No, I, I could play, but he's, he's just what, good looking. What did you get down? What was your lowest handicap? I'm a three right now. Yeah, see, a three would be a yeah. bad player. Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's it's everyone aspires to be a three. It shouldn't be if your last name is Nicholas. <laughs> <laughs> What's that? 18 is a perfect yeah. 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 No, it's a great, great, great family. Say hello to all. Yes, sir. They say hi as well. Special guy. Thank you. Special people. Thank you all very much. Great to be with you. Um, you see what's happening. We're doing really well. I don't know why. I get nothing but bad publicity in the polls are going up. But they are they're at the highest level they've ever been since we've since we've been in office. Uh, quite a bit higher than election day, which was pretty amazing. That was an amazing day, right? Amazing. We were there. Oh, it was we were there. I told your grandfather right. that I said, you know, 
what you did, he said, it was incredible. I said, what you did is more incredible. You won 18 majors. He said, no, it's not. I said, yes, it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I still say, it's harder and more improbable to win 18 majors. <laughs> <laughs> Just as Tiger, right? Yeah, exactly. It's looking like it's going to be a tough one. You know? <laughs> yeah. and, uh, but we're doing better than ever before, and uh, we're accomplishing a lot. The North Korea thing is moving along really well. We have a site now. We're, you know, we picked a site be announced pretty soon and uh, a location plus a date and he really wants to do something I tell you part of the reason he wants to do two things I mean maybe the rhetoric and maybe we put sanctions like you wouldn't believe uh, the team is heading over to China today tonight to work on the whole trade craziness because uh, you know they've been averaging 500 billion dollars a year thank you for doing that yes brutal you know, they're, they're tough, but uh, I always say when you're $500 billion down, you can't lose the trade war. No. You can't lose. <laughs> it's like somebody said today, but why, you know, because I'm, I'm doing a very aggressive thing. And this is all sort of like off the record, right? Yes. But uh, they said, why would you be doing that with China, blah, blah, blah? You could do much. I said, yeah, but much less doesn't get you. I said, this is like you own a baseball team. And it's the first inning, and the other team scores 32 runs. <laughs> what do you have to lose? <laughs> Walk away, you start a new game the next day. And 32 runs in the first inning, because that's basically what it is. We're 500 billion down with China. We're 800 billion down throughout the world. 800 per billion year. a year. A year. That's wow. A, a year. So we lose 800 crazy. billion a year. Crazy. Incredible. And then you have the globalists that think that's okay, but they're wrong. You know, they think it's fine when a factory or a plant moves to Mexico and opens Incredible. up and you lose 3,000 jobs in Michigan. It's not. It's not. You, you have people, smart people, they really believe it. But, you know, then you have other smart people that don't believe it. I'm one of them. Thank God. Barry's in that world with steel in Ohio. Oh, yeah. Well, tell me, and I hear steel's doing better now. Uh, we, we definitely are. Uh, we have uh, 15 plants in the U.S. making steel tubing, one uh, in Canada. Uh, I'm originally, yeah, I started, right. I started in Canada 19 years old, 2,300 employees, and uh, we're now the largest steel consumer in the U.S. We, wow. we actually buy more steel than General Motors. Uh, but it's been so a we huge put very substantial tariffs on yeah. steel. Uh, we're putting, uh, we're doing pretty big numbers on stopping some of it from coming in. I don't want to stop too much because I don't want to run out of steel because the economy's doing really well. So, uh, are you finding it's better now that because of what I'm doing? So there's no question. Uh, um, the price of domestic steel has gone up, which has helped the domestic steel right. industry, which is where it needs to be. There's right. a healthy price, right? There's too low and too right. high. Uh, so there's a healthy price where you can make nice uh, returns and invest in the equipment and invest in the industry. Uh, we've certainly seen that on our product. Um, the tariffs are, are definitely had an effect. The issue we still have is now that the price of domestic steel has gone up. Chinese steel still infiltrates. Everyone says China doesn't import a lot of steel. Yeah, they do. They do. It's all backdoor. It's all whack-a-mole. So they're still using that steel to go through Thailand, through Taiwan. The worst, <clears throat> unfortunately, is South Korea. Um, and can you believe and it? They, they, yeah, they, they pound a lot of steel. We're doing a big number for that. Can you believe it? Well, what's, what's, what, what's amazing is we spend billions of dollars to save them from North Korea, and the thing that we get is to ruin our industry. Um, but so the tariffs are definitely So they do the transshipping, right? Yes. So they're transshipping what steel? China steel? Chinese steel, primarily. Yeah. yeah. South Korea. South Korea is like the worst. Book Thailand book. would be next. Costco <laughs> steel, right? Right? South Korea. You know, lost, yeah. Hyundai, Costco. I mean, how we ever got involved in South Korea in the first place, you know, tell yeah. me about it. How we ended up in a Korean war. We're fighting wow. the Korean war to keep these two places from <laughs> the together. We're over there. Don't give up now. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Come on. South Korea is you haven't heard anything yet. Yeah, we'll get more interesting. <laughs> right. so, not only that, I mean, they're one of the toughest traders we do business with. They're probably tougher than China. They're just smaller, you know, so the numbers are smaller. We have a $32 billion deficit with South Korea. Wow. And then they say, well, you know, people, I asked the general, so why do you think we're doing this? Sir, it's for trade. I said, we're losing $500 billion, in, you know, in that area. So we're doing it for trade, but we're losing 500 billion, including China. We're losing 32 billion with South Korea. So it's uh, it's crazy, but you know it is what it is, and it's coming out good. 
and a lot of good things are happening, and the trade deals are being renegotiated, including the deal with South Korea. The, qu the, the quota. What do you think of the quota deal? We well, well, the quotas are, are the key. We lowered it by 30%. Yeah, that, that's absolutely key. If, if we can do that, once you throttle yeah, back. Yeah, but you don't want to be quantum. at a point, and one thing I know, I don't want to be at a point where we don't have enough steel in this country. Well, All of a sudden, yeah. steel triples. And, uh, Remember, you know, I'm, I'm a steel buyer. I'm not a producer, so I'm on the end of that, right? So I, I, I have to compete to buy that steel, and I don't want to have steel. I don't want to be in a point where I don't have steel or it's too high. Yeah. So I fully support steel prices going up and the steel industry being healthy because if I don't have them, I'm dead. Right. But the quotas throttle it back enough where we can sit there and have a. Consistent Did you know what we're doing with South Korea? Thirty percent. Yeah, it's perfect. Thirty percent back. That that number, if. Uh, uh, you use that number for most of the other bad players, what I call the dirty, the, the dirty dozen, if you will. That would solve everything. Don't forget, you know, when I do the tariffs, and nobody talks about, they talk about jobs, they talk about steel. Now, steel's been doing much better. And, like, U.S. Steel's opening up, like, four plants now, which is, is unthinkable. They haven't done it in 30 years. But don't forget that the country's taken in billions of dollars. You know, nobody talks about that. When you charge 25% and 15% or 10% for aluminum, uh, and that all that stuff is pouring in, and you're charging a 25% tax on the steel that's coming in, we're taking in, as a country, billions of dollars. Nobody talks about that. They talk about jobs, and they talk about steel plants. But to me, the big thing, I mean, we're taking in billions and billions of dollars. We're doing nothing. We're also negotiating deals that we could have never negotiated because countries are now coming to us begging to negotiate deals that have been screwing us for years. They screw us so badly, it's hard to believe. Incredible. And now they're coming, we'd like to talk, like the European Union. Yeah. It's another beauty. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> we don't make with anybody, you know, we'll lose with everybody. Mr. President, there are about two countries. One sells us lemons, Argentina. Oh, okay. We made about $3 with Argentina. <laughs> but we have actually a deficit of, a trade deficit, 800. Who could think of it? 800 billion, including China. Mr. President, we were the first company ever to beat China at the WTO. And, uh, it, you know, when we went there and explained. Well, the, the WTO thing, is the problem. It is the yeah. problem. No question. Without the WTO, China is. But we beat China. And all they did was transship the steel. That's right. They go to, to a different location. To, and, and ship it in through 11 different countries. Yeah, they got it all sorts of ways. But it ends. It ends. And, and, and look, our company does well, and, we, and, and, and we're very happy. But we could employ another 1,000 people making 70, 80, dollars $100,000 a year. If it was more expensive. If, if we could, if we could throttle back the raw quantum of these imports coming in. We would absolutely, I have three plants now that are completely idle, closed, because of South Korea and Thailand. I would open them up overnight if those, if those imports were throttled back. And what we've seen in March and, and April is actually they've gone, they've gone up because they're trying to you know, beat the deadline. And we'll see if they throttle back. And, and supposedly they're using up their quotas, which hopefully start January 1 of this year, and they use up. But we would have another 700 to 1,000 people working. Well, we're gonna, you're going to see prices go up. You're going to see, uh, hopefully not too much. See, I have a theory that if we didn't put quotas on, China subsidizes their steel, mm -hmm. and they have to. If we didn't see quotas, the steel wouldn't even go up. Yeah. Because they'll put more money into it, even with the 25% tax. Yes. It's still not going to come up, because they'll just put more money into it. And we take in a lot of money. You know, we make a fortune on it. So we'll see. Aluminum has gone down. I put a 10% tax on aluminum coming in. It's actually gone down 4%. Now it's about even. But it, it actually started out going down 4%. So it's been, it's been pretty wild. Uh, we're going to have, we have some, I think we're going to have some very good times. But we have some very big trade deals to worry about. Uh, the China, if, you know, when they hear what we're proposing, they're not going to be happy. They're not going to be too happy. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> are, are you hoping to discipline them with the, WTO eventually. Well, the WTO they is. They steal everything. Yeah, well, the WTO is worse than them. Yeah. WTO is totally in their pocket. Well, the people that made the deal with the WTO were not smart people. They made a, a deal with the WTO where we lose every lawsuit yeah. until the last year. In the last year, we've won every lawsuit because they all think I'm going to pull our country out. You know, we're like the punching bag. <laughs> we're like the dummies that get punched in the face all day long and come back for more. 
and uh, but they now know that I'm I I get the WTO. The China didn't become great until the WTO. From the day they joined the WTO, which was a Clinton disaster, mm -hmm. they went up like a rocket ship. They were this way for a thousand years. And then they got into the WTO, and they've taken advantage. Hey, look, I give them credit. Well, they have taken advantage. Yeah, but I give them credit. So well, we, give them we let them. I, I, we we won't say that again. Yeah, so yeah, yeah we gave them our former they leaders, our great geniuses, that allowed it. <laughs> exactly. Bush, it's knowledgeable. Bush, he gets us into the war. He gets us into the Middle East. That was a beauty. So <laughs> the, the Middle East, so we're into the Middle East right now for $7 trillion. Uh -huh. Oh wow. And if you want to fix a window on a school, they don't have the money, you know, it's like, but we're into the Middle East as of this moment for seven trillion dollars. That's over 18 years. Did we borrow that from China? Yeah, well, so, probably. So no big deal. Well, that's the beauty of it. So China, China, rips <laughs> China rips us off. China rips us off for years, and we owe them two trillion dollars. Incredible. They have two trillion worth of our bonds. Maybe we should just call it even. Yeah, well, essentially, that's what well, they They manipulated the currency to get there, so we might as well. Yeah. So the WTO allowed China to do what they did. The WTO was a weapon to hurt the United States, to allow people to enrich themselves. And European Union's the same thing. Yeah. The European Union is a group of countries that got together to screw the United States. Yeah. That's the bottom line. It's as simple as that. And frankly, they're probably worse than China, in a sense, just smaller. The worst in China in the sense of barriers. We lose 151 billion with them. Maybe not so much as copying though, because no. China does that. No, but people. the European Union is really bad. You know, it doesn't sound like it. You know, yeah. the European Union, we're all sort of from there, right? Yeah. But it's uh, the European Union's brutal. Huh. But we're changing that rapidly too. They have. Uh, they can't even believe it. So we're having fun, you know. It's what we're doing. It's <laughs> well, right. I think resolve is finally right. That's they see resolve, they and see. it's that's well. But all you have, it. but you have people that work for me that just don't live. They're so they want to make these deals that are just nothing deals. You know, they're just and not only me. You know, Congress where they come, please don't go after NAFTA too hard. <laughs> I said I'd like to terminate it. Right. And they can, you know, it's like, oh my God! Oops, they're petrified because they know what they have. You know, like the farmers, who are great, actually. But the farmers know what they have. And they've been on a downward trend for 15 years. Yeah. So I said, look, you know, you guys are downward trend. You could be on an upward trend. But to do that, you have to shake it up. Meaning you terminate, you know, a couple of deals, like NAFTA. NAFTA is the worst deal we ever made. I think the WTO is actually worse. If you want to know the I think the World Trade Organization mm -hmm. maybe is worse because it allowed China to kill us. But um, we don't have any good ones. Uh, Hillary Clinton made a deal with the uh, South Koreans. You know, that was a South Korea deal. You know that deal. That was a Hillary special. Absolutely. We're going to make 250,000 jobs. And she was mm -hmm. right for South Korea. The jobs. <laughs> for them. <laughs> we, we, made, she said this is going to create 250,000 250, jobs. And she was right. It did. Before you sign off on that How's your golf club over there? The golf club is doing great. <laughs> Have you seen it? Have you seen it? <laughs> yes, sir. Is it, is it a nice club? Oh, it's fantastic. Is that where they had the... Uh, President's Cup. The President's Cup was there in 2015. Was there. Yeah, yeah, how 2015. Did how did you like the President's Cup? Loved it. So the President's Cup has never been the Ryder's Cup, right? And you right. think the concept right. is better. Yeah. The Ryder Cup is the most unbelievable sporting event. The President's Cup is good, but it's never been the same. And you would think the concept is better. concept is better, uh, the rest of the world, but the competition is not quite there as it is you in Europe. You know, it doesn't make sense. So we're, we're playing Britain, or whatever, UK, <laughs> and that competition is tougher than when we play the world. Figure that one out. Well, yeah. Right? Well, golf began. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> no, but isn't that right? It's his, his, his grand. We won every President's Cup or something. But, yeah. but the Ryder Cup is tough to win. The Ryder Cup is only like the UK. Yeah. But the, the spirit at the Ryder Cup is really a unique experience. And the President's Cup so far has never captured that. But I would tell you, it was an amazing venue. For Korea, never been to Asia. It's been Australia. Do you have a women's tournament too, a big one? They have a. It's called the Crown, the LPGA Crown, right. and it's 
it's uh, eight nations, and you have four player teams, women's, and it's uh, U.S., Germany, Spain, Korea, et cetera. It's being held at the Jack Nicholas Golf Club this fall. How is it doing? How's business over there? Good? The golf is unbelievable. I mean, the collusion and the corruption with the government is horrendous. In We're South getting Korea? screwed. Oh, in South Korea? We're getting screwed so badly. Right. And uh, I wrote you a letter of recommendation, right? Did you ever? Because I spoke to my had... grandpa, uh, I think, two days ago, three days ago, and he was very appreciative and gracious of your, your reaching out on his behalf. Well, no, that letter is fine. I mean, I know they have the letter because the, you know, the president told me he got the letter, so they must be treating you pretty good. But well, for eight know. years of Obama, I wanted the same chain, <laughs> and I'm suffering over there, okay? I took a chance, I took a risk, eight years. And the guy finally hit Congress, so Mr. Gale, don't waste your time. The president's not interested in helping business. <laughs> it's true. I got you one time. It, must be, up with it Jeff. must be tough dealing with these people. No, but I'll tell you what, we have got, that is all part of the free trade agreement. Don't sign that agreement. Don't sign that agreement until it's right. But also, that's the other great thing. Why don't you share, trade. Free share yeah, something more? You know, it's so, it's so as sad. brethren, Jack and I work together. Right. right? Yeah, and yeah. Nashville. He has another message for you. Go ahead. Well, you know, you kind of preface the conversation here. You chosen a spot for your meeting with uh, Kim Jong-un and the, right. the North Korean leadership in the coming months. Um, but if you would consider Songdo for, uh, Songdo is the city that stands, uh, you know, the 70% owner and the master planner of, um, you know, my family specifically and the, the Gales as well be um, honored if you would consider it. You know, there's... Um, We're very far down the line, but I, are I you? will. Um, you know that Kim Jong Un is a great golfer. You know that, right? Better well, the best, no. best in the world. Best in the world. Horse record, record eighteen. Dave, <laughs> 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 he got his first round ever. Like <laughs> By the way, his whole goal in life is to meet <laughs> you. you. And still, it's true. He should play him for his whole goal. He wants to be a president. He wants to be. He would like to be you. Nicholas look like a beginner. Did you ever hear that? He shot an eighteen. Yeah. Right. That, well, that, that was, was the first round, wasn't it? Is that the father or the grandfather? That is, was that him? It's just one weird deal. It's <laughs> <laughs> that rocket driver of his. <laughs> it's actually his father, you know, yeah. who they said shot an 18. Yeah. 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 Pulling one of the first holes. Yeah. 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 But, yeah. If I get the best line ever, I didn't call him short and fat. Okay, that's right. That is a great line. That is a great line. That is a great line. Well, I thought the best line Peace is the prize when they're talking about the Nobel Prize because it was very. Absolutely. Well, you know, the funny thing was that the. Thank you, fellas. How's it good? Business is good? Look at this. What a great group. Business is good, right? Look, see that? They don't want No, it's, uh, he said today uh, that Trump should get the, President Trump should get the Nobel Prize. I said, it's a little early. Of course, right. Obama got it and never did anything. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I still don't know. That's right. He was nominated eight days in. He got it for winning the election. Right? Yeah, that that, that's so exactly right, for winning the election. That's the only reason he got it. In 2008, we shipped uh, 125,000 tons for the border fence, the border wall. Right. Uh, and that started up again. And we, we just started shipping about a uh, oh, first order of 20,000 tons of tubing uh, for that wall. Uh, replacement barrier. Square tubing? Yes, that's what we make. So we, we're the Are you doing a shiny finish or are you doing a, uh, a rough finish? No, we're, we're that, uh, that, that basic black finish. Yeah. And then they take I that can't believe how they can plant that thing. Yeah, they do. But, but we, or now I was we're watching it yesterday. With it's taller, that, that, that new design would be great. But it's a fantastic one for the steel industry in the U.S. And uh, we're proud to be a supply. The, That's the great. Supply. Supply. Are you doing that with the Army Corps of Engineers or something? No, uh, 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 in, in 08 we did it with Boeing, actually, it was with, uh, who procured that. But now we're doing it through companies like Gibraltar Steel and others who are the fabricators that fit on that. On that uh, all American Steel, All American Jobs. That's great. Fantastic. Well, it's going up. Yeah. What's going on? We're very proud. Do you see what's going on at the border, though? Can you believe it? Oh, I saw it yesterday. That, that's incredible. Good thing Obama is not president. Thanks for identifying the problem. Well, you take a look at that. 
You have thousands of people. And if you really look, take the wall down. That's and it. You just be walking in. Mm -hmm. You know, you can see it. Clearly. Can. Now, a few people can get up. Right. It's amazing that they can shimmy up that steel, though. Now, that's old stuff, and that's rough on the outside and rustic. But it's been a long time. The galvanized. You do have to be able to see through the wall, I think. Can yeah. you see that? If you can't yeah. see through the wall, that's yeah. a problem. Because you don't know what's on the other side. There. That's what yeah. every, every border agent tells us that. Yeah. They want to be able to see what's coming. Mm -hmm. Because I really want a concrete wall 30 feet high, very slick outside. Mm -hmm. But you have to be able to see. You know, they actually said that these drug dealers, it's so dangerous to have a, a solid wall because they take the drugs and it weighs 100 pounds approximately. Oh. Bad, you know, satchel. They call it a satchel. <laughs> and they throw it over. Come on. They throw it out over the wall. And it goes over the wall and it will land on a guy's head and he kills it. Wow. Just, wait, wait. <laughs> our border guys? Yeah, no, our border guys will be oh. walking. Oh. Down, and they throw it from one side. So if, it, if you can't see through the wall, mm. they throw the drugs. They have a catapult. They throw it mm. over the wall and it lands mm. on the other side of the wall. And it can hit people. Can you imagine you get hit with 100 pounds of drugs? <laughs> Crack hills. Crack hills. That's what you're saying. Only in America. Only in America. The deal was on the other side. Uh, yeah. They weren't very smart to begin with. Well, so. actually, usually you have the deals on the other side. Right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. But when they see the border guys, they sort of head out. Yeah. The whole thing is is preposterous. But I would have loved to have seen a concrete wall, but you just can't do that. Let's the whole thing in yeah. California is preposterous so with, with these cities. You know, there's a, there's, I mean, you, you've seen the design, so... And, and it slows them down, and it slows the migration oh, over, so they can get to that. But we actually have the new one is like that, mm -hmm. like, but now it's taller. Right. It's got the thing. Yeah. It's got nothing in between. It's held in the ground like flagpoles, and it's got very strong points at the top. Yes. That'll be much tougher. What is that? A wall? It's like pointed. Yeah, a wall. No, it's the points are uh, it's just like the other cut one. on a diamond. Uh, corner to corner, and they can't. You cut the corner. Like, you cut it. We do all the fabrication for that and supply. And, and how sharp is that on that? Very sharp. I mean, it's a razor. That's pretty yeah. cool. Yeah. It's uh, cut on cut on a two blazer. It's very hard to you know, shimmy over that side. Uh, you're, 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 you're not hopping over. <laughs> right? <laughs> Who's going to be using this one? Huh? Yeah, you have the sauce. That's it. So little president, how are we going to win that midterm election? Give you a heck of a lot more power. Well, I know. It's you just kick somebody. As you know, most times you don't. But I think the economy is so good. That's good. That's fine. I think the economy is so good that we're going to do much better than people. Uh, we have, you know, just... I guess it's complacency. Something happens when you win the presidency. Mm -hmm. Then you go on and win the presidency two years after that. History, it's almost like 100% of the time. It's a lot. And there's nothing 100%. But I think 93% of the time they lose the midterm. Mm -hmm. But I think, but you know, look, we have to see what the economy is in a few months. It's going to be good. It's booming. I think so, right? It's absolutely booming. Yeah, you know, great. the stock market's up 40% <laughs> since I won. But actually, the economy is actually better than that. Mm -hmm. So we, I, I got into a discussion with uh, someone in real estate about immigration. I like, I like everything President Trump saying. Except for immigration, we need people over here. I said, of course we do. What did, what, did way, what did President Trump say that we didn't need immigration? I said, look, let me, let me put it to you in a, in a really easy example. You're in real estate, you own buildings. You got a water main that comes into the building. You need water, good clean water in the building to make it run. Said, yeah. I said, what do you do when the water main breaks? How do you fix that? I said, well, you shut it off. I said, yeah, you shut it off. And then you fix it, and then you turn it back on, you bring nice water in. You don't shove the pump into the basement and pump it out while it's still broken. I said, that's all President Trump wants to do. The water main's broken, you need to shut it off, fix it, and bring the water back into the building control. Well, it's all merit, right? You need someone who's going to come here who can actually contribute, not just one suck off. I mean, it doesn't work. Well, it I mean, was to It's free. Hand for hand up. Yeah. You see what's going on in Dearborn, Michigan. It's unbelievable. Yeah. Because of the... Unbelievable. It's unbelievable. What about the Sanctuary City? That's completely incredible. 
Like you live in so a different world. world. It's all changing. They're changing. They realize it's terrible. Yeah, they see it. This whole caravan is a positive thing because yeah. it's showing people how crazy it is. Where is it now? Are they at the border waiting? Yeah, they, they, they have the water. Water. Yeah. yeah. But these aren't the base that's going to land the house or the Senate. <coughs> the people that came to the voting booth <coughs> in 16 need to, need to wake up with, you know, from you, from Brian's help, and that don't be complacent. Well, part of our job is to make sure that they realize that just because he is not on the ticket yeah. right. doesn't mean That's he's exactly. not on the ticket. Right. Because he right. is on the ticket. Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. Well, we won the that. race in Arizona three nights ago. Of course, we're getting no credit for that. No. Because I won it by 22, so she won it by six. Don't even hear about it. I would have taken the two votes is okay as far as I'm concerned. Right. But, you know, the headline is, oh, that was much closer. Right. <laughs> but it was another way. You know, we won six of them, and nobody talks about it. We won six... Uh, Special races. I think we lost one. Yeah, we lost Roy one Moore. in Pennsylvania. Roy Moore, Roy Moore. No, well, that's Jeffrey. That was a that was a, yeah. <laughs> Those were two and, a, two and a half years ago. I was with Goldman Sachs. And I said, President Trump, you know, Trump's going to win the election. We said, you're crazy. He said, absolutely, I'll bet you anything you want. And they all sat there, and they, they, they thought I was nuts. And they said, well, why do you think that? I said, because I'm in the heartland. I see what's going on. I see what the real workers have forgotten people want. You know, not everybody can work in Silicon Valley. I'm not going to retrain someone in Sharon, Pennsylvania to go to Silicon Valley. They're 55 years old. They can't sell their house there. They deserve to earn a good living. What's wrong with working with your hand? And, you know, my point is, sure enough, you did. And that night, we were jumping up and down with our son on the bed, and I'm texting these guys at Goldman Sachs saying, I told you. I told you. So well, you that can't was the most the exciting polls. evening. Mm -hmm. well, that, that was incredible. Was, yeah. You can't yeah, believe that the was, poll. That was a ESPN yeah. said that was the greatest sporting event in it. Yeah, it was. <laughs> That's what it was. Sporting <laughs> it event. just didn't stop. It's Ohio. It's this one. It's Standing up there in the, the second the floor watching there. Each at 99% with, it had like three votes left. Right? Oh. And, you know, and we're watching it. <laughs> we're like, they every vote. They, they tried to do everything it. not to announce it. CNN just tried. Two and a half hours. Yes. They were there. I was there. Absolutely. Honestly, they're going more crazy now. And, and Mr. President, the I've press been, is now more crazy. I got a thousand, thousand employees in Pennsylvania, and there's a hard hat signed by about 200 of them sitting in a bag wow. over there for you saying thank you. So we appreciate it. They're very, very well. Nice. I think the press is now more crazy than they were then. They're going totally bananas. They keep doubling down. You know, they don't. Maybe oh, you're in their head. <laughs> Your best real estate deal was getting rent free in their heads for two years. It's a, they're never they're going nuts. It's all right. What the heck? Well, the I think we're going to. I think we're going to do well. But you know, I don't want to say it too much. But I think we're going to do better than people think. You took it. Same took as before. before. Yeah. Well, they have low, uh, you know, light. I mean, you have this one woman, Maxine Waters. Again. Oh, she's not. <laughs> I, I say she's a very low IQ person. And she's, <laughs> I, I say it publicly. I say it. Oh, 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 we've heard that. We've heard that. You may have all had no cow. Oh, you don't hear from her anymore. It's the craziest thing. Since I've said that, I don't hear from her anymore. <laughs> really? It's crazy. <laughs> How's the food? Good? Food's nice right. But no, I, I do want you to touch on this whole like pop culture, Candace Owens, you know, Kanye West. That was a big <laughs> for that younger African American generation. I think it's going to be a tremendous shift. People think about it, right? Well, and Tommy and I do a lot of work with Candace and Charlie Kirk. And so, yeah, it's, it's been great. It's great I'm actually traveling with both of them this whole week. But she's really become. She's great. Right. Right. I mean, she works for Charlie Kirk, yeah. who is smart. a genius as well. They're just brilliant. You know, and you saw that there was a big article today in one of the big papers talking about how the Democrats are losing the stranglehold on the millennials, and it's literally all him. But I have um, to tell you, like, my, our son is 16, our daughter's 20, and now they're texting us. Did you did you hear? Did you hear? Did you see on Instagram? And now, yeah. now my son sat me down last night. Did you hear the Conway West song, Mom? I'm like, no, Jack, I didn't. And Have you heard the new song? And, and let oh, yeah, me. I've heard. And then I'll he take, talked I'll the lyrics it. through. And Brand so new. it was just interesting that the young people they are talking about, the high schoolers are talking about this <coughs> in Canada, by the way. Yeah. So even talking, more. Right. Yeah. You're talking about Left it on both sides and our daughters yeah. in the states. So. NAFTA, NAFTA was good because I got my wife. <laughs> <laughs> How are your businesses going? How are they doing? 
So why are the prices so high? There's so much oil and gas. Right? Natural gas is high. Is that OPEC? Oh, yeah. But oil's so uh, high. Oil's almost at 70. Mm -hmm. Wall Street. Huh? I, I would think that somebody, somebody there's, is... There's no good there's reason, no reason for it because there's plenty. Well, it's yeah. a monopoly of OPEC. Right? Yeah. <coughs> but, but OPEC is, you know, they shot themselves in the foot when they started the oversupply thing in 2015. Mm -hmm. And they, but aren't the they frackers, don't know what they're going to do. Yeah, now. aren't the frackers out now because of the price and they're going crazy opening up new wells? Right? Absolutely. Yeah. That's what I've heard. Yeah, you can't have... Absolutely. 30 is too low. Yeah. 80, 90 is too high. Yeah. That healthy range in there, they can make money there. Then, 65 to 70. Yeah. Is See, frac fracking right. has changed, right? You, you used to frack a well four times. I make the two for they make the pumps. To, it's to really called it. exploration yeah. and production. Yeah, yeah. they're much more productive. <coughs> you frack a well 30 times. Yeah, the yeah. technology yeah. yeah. is so much different. Yeah. 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 You can yeah. go back yeah. and all so these dry wells and pull it out. But is the fracking starting then? Because, you know, for a while the price was too low, then it goes up. Yeah, no, uh, last year was a recovery year, and this year is a really good year. Texas, uh, West Texas. Drilling is really good. Permian Basin is just so will that drive the price? No, I think it should have been. It helps. Texas is yeah. in the yeah. corner now. The sweet producer is in there. 15, it got 30. We can only produce it. I think it's driving in. It should be. Is it going to? Uh, and we're, we're actually self-sufficient, really, right now, basically. Absolutely. Right, meaning yeah. producing as much as we our own. Yeah, yeah. If it wasn't for West Texas, we'd probably have eighty-five dollar oil. Uh, well, yeah, yeah, no, more. probably more. Yeah. yeah. So how big is West Texas compared? I mean, comparing like West Texas to Saudi Arabia. Okay. What's your, What's your difference? We're probably sixty percent. Sixty? Is that right? Yeah, yeah. About yeah. Six, six million barrels a day. Yeah. Hey, don't yeah. forget about North. That's Dakota. a lot. Yeah. yeah. That's just West Texas. That's but just West Texas. Yeah. What's the quality in West Texas? Light, sweet, it's really good. It's really it's high. Like sweet yeah. Yeah. So what's the quality in Venezuela? Very bad, right? It's very heavy. Yeah. Heavy, yeah. heavy, heavy yeah. sulfur. And, we're, and is we're, that hurting we're oil prices? We're importing the Venezuelan oil because our refineries aren't able it to change to to light, sweet crude like we have here. You need That's new, why we export. Yeah. yeah but you so need, we're exporting you, you it to other refineries because we can't. We can't right? That's the problem. No we need like what? New refineries. New refineries yeah. that are able to refine the yeah. crude oil. When was the last time we built a new refinery? That was well, under the tax plan. Yeah. You can do it. 1974 or 78 yeah. was a new refinery. Yeah. Yeah, yeah just put it in. Before cell phones. Yep. A long time before cell phones. Guy told me last weekend in Big Lake, Texas, which is a little bitty dot out in the Permian Basin. He pulled into a Motel 6, cost him $450 yeah. per night. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it is booming. When is that? When? Last week. Huh. Wow. It's just booming. But the geopolitical consequences, LNG changes the game, right? Oh, yeah. If we export LNG, we can we can Which supply we Europe and Putin's done. Yep. Right. Yep. Which is but why, much more expensive. why Putin but is... is but from a national security he's standpoint, he's how fantastic it is. But he's over. He's done. Well, how about Germany opening up a pipeline into Russia? And we're supposed to be okay, fighting yeah. Russia. Right. Right. So Germany's paying Russia like $2 billion a month. Crazy. And they're a member of NATO. Yes. Okay, figure that and out. Crazy. and they can they're, they're building Crazy. coal plants in Germany. Yeah. And so we're paying 90% of the cost of NATO. Well, we're in the process of purchasing an uh, energy well, company in Ukraine right now that should help cut off so Russia's... How's Ukraine doing? Don't ask. <laughs> <laughs> they love you, though. I yeah, can tell you that yeah. much. They love you. Great. Great. You, they're great fighters. <laughs> great fighters. They love you. I think they are. They're great fighters. They, they've been fighting for so long. They don't know what to do without fighting. Yeah. But Russia's had them under, yes, right. under, under their yeah, well, for they so need long. directions. For a long time. Mm -hmm. They're waiting for direction. I can tell you that much. They're ready. They're. I think there's a definitely a good opportunity. But it's a problem. I mean, Big problem. You guys just have a big order of javelin missiles over there, right? The, the anti-tank missiles. Yes. So that go through today, right? Yes. Not, not only today. today. Like I, mean, I saw, I read about it today. Yeah, I don't know when it happened. Yeah, yeah. It, must have, it must have happened within the last couple of days. They're getting it, but yeah. I, listen, Do you think Russia ever goes in and gets uh, Ukraine or no? <laughs> it's. Uh, I, I don't. I, uh, they would love huh? to. They're, they would love to, but they're scared of you. 
yeah, right now. Well, but they got if, what they if, wanted. They wanted access to the sea. Not really. They, no, they want Ukraine. Ukraine is a vast, uh, they, uh, crim, uh, not even criminal. They, the resources in Ukraine are tremendous. Huge. It's and like West huge. Texas. Exactly. Absolutely. And right now, <laughs> not only that, but uh, Ukraine is a sore, th uh, th th sore throat <laughs> in their throat because of supplying the pipeline because all the pipeline goes through Ukraine. So Ukraine Poland, has oil? A lot. Yeah. Of course. A lot of people Num exactly. Number one in Europe. Yeah, yeah we could. Ukraine? Yeah. Yes. How come they, 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 don't really much. they don't have any money? Exactly. They're, exactly. They, they've been. They, why Russia aren't the companies going into too risky? Because exactly the point. They were supporting uh, the Clintons for all these years and hoping that, you know, and then when obviously you won. Biden. <laughs> Biden. <laughs> yeah, that was a big thing. Sure, there. Too, ha having Ray yeah. Washburn at OPEC, he's, he's able to ensure some of the uh, economic investment in the Ukraine. Yeah. The, the, I guess the geology is very similar to West Texas. So you yes, got a lot of yeah, these guys right. in West Texas who are going over there. But the potential is number one. In the, the potential is incredible. And the communists I'm, kept great records of, you know, yes. everything underground. Absolutely. So. They have everything there. They're just right now waiting for your support a little bit to make sure because obviously if they go on their own, Russia will, will, won't let them do it because they'll cut off a lot of their uh, revenue. How long have they lasted in a fight with Russia? Not very long. I don't think very long. Without us, not very long. Without us. Without us, no. But Russia also, keep in mind, talks a big game but they're not ready to, they, uh, he's not, he, they don't, they don't, they're not ready to play. Well, they, Russia's the, what, 13th economy? Yeah, oh, yeah, their economy, like, their economy, yeah, economy. Their economy. Big game, but not. He talks yeah. a big game, but he, you know, he, even with Syria, it was a great, great job. How's Ukraine there. feeling about it all right now? Oh. Um, they're actually uh, very, much very much appreciate everything you're doing. No, but are they, do they feel they're going to be okay? Yes. They feel they're going to be okay if you support them, yeah. And if you don't like Russia. Poroshenko is a good guy. He's a he, he's he wants the right thing for. It. I mean, the so biggest it's always us that has to support everybody. Well, the biggest yeah, problem is the right. corruption there. Yeah. Why isn't it Germany supporting? He's very Why much. He needs others? support. Huh? Germany not supported him. Yeah, not at all. Germany's going behind our. Germany's not doing they're that. supporting they're Russia. Behind. They're supporting Russia. You think so? Oh, 100%. Think so. Yeah, no, Two billion really to pay Russia. 100%. 100%. <laughs> it just makes no sense. It doesn't, exactly. It doesn't Russia make sense. needs support no from you, President. A lot of the, exactly. A lot of the European countries, they're backstabbing us, basically, and dealing with Russia. And that's why you're having such... This. I think uh, if you take a look, the biggest problem there, I think where we, where we need to start is we got to get rid of the ambassador. It's, she's still left over from the Clinton administration. Where the ambassador, where Ukraine? Yeah, and she's basically walking around telling everybody, wait, he's going to get impeached. Uh, just wait. I mean, really? it's, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's incredible. It's She'll like, be gone tomorrow. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it, What's your uh, I don't remember the name. Really <laughs> so one of the things that uh, will be, now that we have a secretary of state, Get rid of her. Hooray. Okay, get her out tomorrow. We'll, uh, I don't care. Get her out tomorrow. <laughs> Take her out. Okay? Excellent. Do it. Make a note. Excellent. Yeah, Michael Payne. Michael Payne. Yes, Michael Payne. Great. Yeah, yeah. Michael yeah. yeah. going to be good. He's doing a good job. Already he's doing a good job. No, we got it going pretty good. We got a lot of interesting things. A lot of good stuff. Mr. Really President, why, why can't you walk down to the FBI? <laughs> no, really, I mean, I mean that. I'm sincere. With TV cameras, and they give me the 1.2 million. Pages. Literally, literally, with TV cameras, give me the 1.2 million. And coming, if they don't, you're fired, you're fired. It's all the deep coming to it's so incredible. I can't even believe it. I can't yell at the TV anymore. Yeah. <laughs> now, it's, uh, it's, a, it's a deep state deal, yeah. but I, it's going good. You see the other side. Unbelievable. Yeah. And the stuff that they have is so bad about the other side that they're trying to keep it. They're hiding it. It's now right. coming out. Are you waiting for the timing of it? To yeah, be I have released? to wait. Yeah. I'm waiting for the timing, the right time. Smart. But um, it's, such, uh, it's such bad stuff. Like Comey is guilty already. He's, um, oh, he's, uh, he's just a disgrace. He I can't even. He, 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 he changes his story. I can't even. Oh, well, he, 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 I can't even. He, 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 he looks like a convict. Their attempted setup was, was the biggest fool. backfire yes. in the history. Yes. It's like, yes. They were so shocked he that he went the other way. They, they weren't prepared for it. He's just, you can't even look at him on TV. I mean, it's embarrassing. But even the left. 
the, the left is it's not even a conversation. They're just it sounds like a walls. whiny teenager. Yeah, well, I want to make a toast. But they're not so happy. There you go. No, no, no. I want to make a toast to a president. Thank you very much for the sacrifice that you and your family you're not you put up with this shit. Thank you so much. Yeah, well, <laughs> well said. Well said. Well said. Well said. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. Very, very well said. Well said. Well said. Well we got the presidential. Very much. I can't have different from other people. Who wants a steak? Who wants a steak? I, I don't no, 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 no. I got presidential. You know burger. what this was? <laughs> <laughs> We just like the burger. You all know a deal. Have a steak. Enjoy. Everyone had a choice. I noticed they brought me a shrimp cocktail. Look at who else has one. You are the president. And the owner of Odell. It's great to go. It's amazing. My second home. is great. Have you thought about allowing banking in some of these uh, states that allow cannabis? From the banking to allow them to bank the money? Yeah, well, that cannabis. Look. You, you're talking about marijuana, right? Right, but we're talking about just the states that are really. I'm talking about. Why well, you can't do banking there? That's the biggest problem uh, because none of the banks accept yeah, it'll, the money. It'll be, it's all working out. That whole thing because is that's so out. important. Because I don't the, know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. I'm talking about the taxation. I'm talking about the taxation of money. Like, yeah. uh, well, the reason why I'm saying the military and the vets, it's a big one there. Exactly. Well, well, well the reason why I'm bringing it up is because uh, we've been working very hard to try to figure out how to help with the, uh, uh, the midterms and everything that's going on. And like you said, I think it's a tremendous, tremendous. Movement with a lot of the young. But do you think the whole marijuana thing is a good thing? No. I think no. I, I think there, I, I, I think I think there's it's a combination. I think it's, it's something that is in the future, and no matter how you look at it, I think it's something that's already so far out that you're not going to stop it. I think you need to be ahead of it. And I think you need to control it. And in Colorado, they have more accidents. It does cause an IQ problem. No, there's, there, there is there is minus. I think he's right. No, no, there is there is minus. You lose IQ points. Yep. But then you take a look at your opioid crisis and, and then the veterans and the but children. But it's actually good for opioids. Yeah. Yes. It's, it's fight against. Yeah. It's, it's, it's I'll true. say this. Yeah. Between that and alcohol, as far as I'm concerned, alcohol does much more damage. Much more damage. So, you know, you don't, you don't, you don't see people driving, even, even, 100%. you don't see people beating their wine. Well, well, this is what, it's just this, different. This, this, no, is what, this is what I want to recommend. I agree. What I want to recommend to you is not to move one way or the other, but what I want to recommend is to set up a committee. Right. So now, a, a bipartisan committee, no politicians, but just leading no. people in the industry right. so you can have your ear and so you can know what's going on to make the right decision. By just putting the committee together, I think we'll give you such a boost in the midterm by with a lot of the millennials, a lot of the minorities. A presidential committee on cannabis to be able to, you know, set up a, we got a lot of professionals, like even Boehner right now joined the uh, 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 he's uh, started switching from Boehner from the, he, the House people. So I think there's a lot of people that are, if you get the right information, one of the things I did also, I'll leave behind, I have, I'll leave it behind. There's some statistics and information that I think is extremely important for you to take a look at that I think for the midterms could be, again, we're not talking about going one way or the other. I think, I think the most important thing is for you to be ahead of the game because it's, we've got 30 states that already legalized it. you got over 90% of the I'm not involved in that business, but uh, I have a lot of friends that are. I'm in the energy industry, but I've been watching it evolve over the years. I've been, I live in Florida. I've seen what it does in Florida. I've seen. How is Florida doing now with the Rick Scott? Rick Scott's great. We're actually holding a fundraiser for him. I'm really talking about him. He's great. Rick is great. Is he going to win or is it done? Like You're going to be close, but I think we're going to pull it out. Yeah, I, know, I, know I, I think if we're ever going to yeah, win, it's, right. it's this time. I mean, we, we've been going hard for a while, but I think we got a good shot this time. So, 
I think if it's, anybody's going to do it, Rick's going to do it. But we have a great state. Pam's great. I just had lunch with Pam last week. Bondi. So, Pam's fantastic. So, again, it's, it's, a, it's a very uh, subject that's controversial. It's not something that we need to go one way, but I think that it, as long as you have a committee that can give you the right direction that's bipartisan, that's not one way or the other, I think then you could be ahead of the game and make the right decisions because you will make the right decision which way it goes. And that's, and that's a, I'll leave some stuff behind. So How are you doing? Good. good. Thank you. What are you doing? He's my partner in the energy industry. Oh, good. We're purchasing right now. Uh, we're in the process of purchasing, in the bidding. Uh, Ukraine is privatizing one of their biggest uh, energy companies. I get it. So you're involved in Ukraine? Yeah, we're, we're, we're Ukraine, Poland, Lithuania, uh, Turkey. Poland is great, actually, yeah, we're very close with the president. Turkey is, Turkey is uh, Brian's dealing with Turkey. Yeah. They try to play, you know. Artigan, yeah. They play both sides. And one of the things we're trying to do with the Ukrainian deal, if it works out, Turkey's in, in talks with the Russians right now to put a... A pipeline for their energy, a uh, uh, nu nuclear active, and, right? And nuclear. nuclear active retreat. So if we're able to do what we're doing, we'll be able to cut off Russia at the knees and put a pipeline from Ukraine under the water and start and supply in Turkey with energy. Blue water? So, so, huh? Underwater. But, but I know. That pipeline is called Blue Water. Yes. Yeah. How did you guys do with Milstein? Whatever. Every time I think it's a big water, there's a knot, so I'm just more than that. So How's that going? I understand. But, um, um, yeah. No, it's okay. full, full disclosure, no, no, no. we could have found a better business partner. Right? Yeah, yeah. Not, uh, um, no, my, my grandpa, is, he's 78 years old, and he doesn't need a, to deal with that kind of ego. Um, but you know, he he came in with a sizable investment, and, and we at sold the time it. it was the right thing to do. Yeah, exactly, and we figured for his. Uh, so are, are you just sort of sitting back now? He was telling me he's just going to sit back, and who cares? <clears throat> or is he? We're we're trying to figure out ways to deal with his non-compete right now, because within the company he's got I think a five-year non-compete. Yeah. Um, and we're, we're meeting with... At 78, five years is a long time. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Um, but, I mean... And as, the, the sad thing is he's really... I mean, between him and your father, they're great designers. And they work. You don't want to waste five years. Right. Right. And and the, the, at the end of five years, you can do what you want to do? Well, I mean, as, you know, if you have any kind of celebrity attached to you, it's, it's kind of hard to enforce a non-compete of that length. Um, so... The, all the news that we're getting back is positive on the five-year span, um, but in in the meantime, they're trying to figure out ways. Um, they've got a few things in the pipeline uh, right. where they can restructure some deals to, you know, if they're not taking uh, upfront design fees, you know, maybe you factor in a charitable uh, aspect. So he, he's going to find a way to do some and work. Which he likes anyway. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And he's got, as you know, the Nicholas Children's Hospital. But it's just a dip, it's an exhausting part, it, you know, because I know him. Yeah, I know the guy. Howard. <laughs> I mean, these New York guys, huh? Yeah. <laughs> no, no. In, impossible. Didn't he buy God yeah, Bless you? <laughs> yes, sir. Did he buy it? I believe so, within the last year or so. Mm -hmm. What's that? Golf Magazine. Yeah, well, Golf Magazine, they bought this club company. What's it? Uh, club company. You know, Howard bought Golf Magazine. Yeah, he bought Golf What if for fifteen million dollars? Ten years it? ago, you would have paid three hundred million. Wow, fifteen million. That's it. Fifteen. Wow. Can you believe it? Well, all oh, that's where our print is going. Print is going. Yeah, all magazines. Yeah. yeah. Magazines are dead. <laughs> it's a dead, dead business. Okay. Print is out the door. What do you think happens to cable TV? I think it's. I think cable TV is okay, right? Isn't it? Now, we'll say, if we ever lost an election, cable TV is dead. <laughs> you can imagine if they had a normal candidate. That's all they talk about. Trump stories, Trump, Trump, Trump. They, that's all they talk about. Now, if they have a normal candidate, if they had Hillary crooked, Hillary, oh my God. It would, they, their ratings would be one-fifth. Well, they just hope yeah. for her king. That's why I tell everybody they're going to endorse yeah. me. <laughs> About six months before the election, they'll endorse me, and then they'll unendorse me after that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they're bad. They're bad. You are the only one that could have won against Trump. 
Yeah, well, you were the only one. You were the only one that actually called her on her, her lies and her, yeah. you know, That's her right, two dynasties he took out. stuff. Crooked Nobody up. else would have done that. Crooked. Everybody else would have been too polite. It would have not meant. Obama would have been easier have second term. You, you would have destroyed him. Romney yeah. should have never lost him. Obama, Obama would have been much well, his, big, his big mistake yeah. was in Boca opening up his mouth and getting that tape with the with the Spanish. You think Hispanic Obama would have been easier than, than Hillary? I think so. And I think four years. Later, I think Obama. Uh, second damaged. term, not first. Yeah, he was damaged goods. Well, well, Romney just couldn't get it done. He disappeared at the debate. He disappeared at the debate. Bernie Sanders had it. They they rigged it. Bernie Bernie would have beat Hillary in the right now. He had it. Yeah, because it was high grade. Because there was no hatred. Right, you're right. There right. was no hatred. The millennials, right. millennials were right. There. I mean, she, but she, as great as he was, half my motivation in working was hate not let her do. hundred percent. Right. Yeah. I and that, that's what I think. Bernie a big part of our race. Vice president would have been tougher. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Her, but, yeah. Kane was what yeah. I couldn't. But I think that was Bernie, you know, because all those people that hated her so much, who mm -hmm. voted for me, you know, I got twenty percent of Bernie vote. People don't realize that because of trade, because he's a big trade guy. You know, he basically says we're getting screwed on trade. <laughs> And he's right. I'm worse than he is. But if we can do something about it, I don't know if he could have. But um, had she picked Bernie Sanders, it would have been tougher. Mm -hmm. I was the only one I didn't want her to pick. Mm -hmm. Now, then you say, people say, no, it would have been easier because then her sort of establishment, normal Democrats, and, and, would have come to me. So mm -hmm. she may have lost a lot of votes, too. You're right, so you don't know. I, I, I don't understand. I, I think the Democrats, they the only thing they do well is they stick together. So yeah. I don't know. Yeah, they do. They're really. And Hillary now. Why is well, he, should he should be going crazy. He should be going crazy. It's just funny how he has not gone crazy, right? Because they took him in a locked room. They, they had a conversation. They, they, they paid him. Of course. They have to. Of course, they had a conversation. He has three beach houses. Like, of course. He should be going nuts. Is he going to be running? Uh, I don't think so. I think he might. You think he might again? Because yeah, he does a lot of television. <laughs> Usually when they do a lot of television, that means they're running. Yeah. Biden seems like he's. I like it because I'm I hope Biden. I hope Biden runs. Let me let me ask a question about uh, wind and solar versus natural gas and electricity versus natural gas for vehicles. I am all for the momentum that electric vehicles have. Right. But here we are in North America with shale. Oil and gas, but shale gas, which is we have an abundance of natural gas. But here we are putting in these LNG tankers and shipping it and trying to sell it elsewhere. Now, well, that's good, though, right? It's, it's, it's great. Good, yeah. it's, it's, it's great. But here we are, we have these car manufacturers that are just standing ready and they're trying to figure out a way to meet the emission standards and everything else. Yeah, but we're going to lower that. <coughs> well, we are. We are. We're, Do you know that, the CAFE standards? Absolutely. I mean, you've done a great job on that front. How can, I mean, there is there is a huge opportunity to try to open up, compress natural gas, CNG, to be on parity. And unlike electric vehicles, we don't want any tax credit. All we want is... Is that what business you're in? Compressed? Gas business. Compressed? Yeah. Or Actually, think? we're on the compression side. We're not on the production side. They but make the compressors to move the natural gas. We move the, the natural gas. But we're, if, we can, if we can make CNG, natural gas vehicles, to be on car bases for manufacturing with electric car, with the uh, with the manufacturers to have a choice. How are electric cars doing now? Not good. Why? Yeah. You know what happened? Well, Tesla, he's got a yeah, car. He, well, Tesla's broke. Yeah, he's no, there's a cut for that. You run out of what do you think is that 100%? Why? I mean, he's he's shutting down the lineup of the most popular cars. Because they can't produce it. Because they can't produce them. A number of reasons. So, well, a, a, they can't they can't produce them. He's already, he's, the, the auto companies have caught up to him. All right, the other auto companies have caught up to him. He's never generated any, we're close to positive cash. So he, he subsidized by $25,000 per vehicle. It's over. The other thing that people forget about is it's great to have an electric vehicle, but you got to plug it in and get it charged somewhere. 
And the, the carbon footprint of this phone is the same as a refrigerator running. You need to generate the power. And generating it with wind and solar, wind and solar only generate 3.5% of our power usage today. You would take 50 years to get up to 5% at the rate we're growing. Well, it is still a fossil fuels generating power. Yeah. You have to have nuclear, you have to have uh, uh, oil, oil, coal, and you have to have coal. Yeah. 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 So, so how come his stock price is so high? Because he's a great because, sale. Because, he's because a the millennials don't buy exactly. I took exactly. my, my, my son to the great market. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Because they're not thinking they're not understanding. years old, I gave him a little bit of money and money he made working to invest in stocks. Because what about Tesla? I showed him the cash flow. I said, look, he's got to, even if he starts making money today at the rate, he's. 10, 12 years before he's yeah, back to break even. Still very high, so well, it's, yeah. like a, it's like the dot com. That stock is, that stock is history. Oh, he's done. And he's better against it? Yeah, he's, he's a smart guy. He's, he's a very guy. smart guy. He's, he's a brilliant he's guy. guy. He's a little off socially. He's a brilliant guy, but the company's done. Yeah, well, Tesla well, as a car maker is done. That, regardless, earlier. regardless. I think, I think, I think, I think the nation. Anyway, yeah. you got to relax once in a while. And here, the company's done. Boom, no, no, electric. No. They're saving the planet. Let them. I think it's, it's awesome that they want to do that. But give the manufact auto manufacturers an opportunity to, to put out CNG cars where we have all this natural gas. 100%. That, free. that plus, is almost free. Yeah, we're the Saudi of natural gas. We should be using it. Uh, we're, 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 we're the Saudi of natural gas. Venezuela off and fit. Russia of natural gas. Yeah. Na see, you know, to yeah. converting have the existing natural engines everywhere. to natural gas engines versus. Battery, so that's a battery third. Battery. So that's a third type of car now you're talking about. No, but the good thing no, is no, not. No, it's, it's, it's great. For it's great. For buses, trucks, 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 and trucks and buses. Trucks, cars, 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 cars like and that. Vehicles Ford F-150, you know, which is the most popular truck and vehicle. It is. You really? Yeah. I think so. Yeah. 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 You why? Can, why is it? You can, it's light utility truck that everyone. Is that the, is that the aluminum? Or I drive American. No, it's just a regular. Jack of the Raptor. The Raptor went to a frame that's aluminum, aluminum frame. How did yeah. the aluminum work? Yeah. The the they they made truck. an aluminum truck. I've got the aluminum body, yeah. But you can't what do, you do that in an electric I love it. vehicle. Oh, you like it? Is it strong enough though? Yes, sir. Is it lighter? Does it dent easier? I'm sorry? Does it dent easier? Um, you think so? Well, and yeah, yeah, as far as the bed's concerned, yeah, it's lined yeah. properly, <laughs> so if you throw anything not in, yes, it's fine. Okay. Um, Probably I haven't for repairs. I haven't. Yeah, not I haven't. So you have the aluminum buyer? Yes, sir. And did you request that? Uh, no, actually, Ford, I think their new line of trucks is, uh, I think, 2017. They started with the Raptor. Well, has that turned out to be a good a good investment for them or not? Uh, I'd have to look more into it as a consumer. I like I back in the day I had a uh, about ten years ago my first truck was a two thousand eight two fifty and I mean I can just feel the difference driving the thing. Ooh, it's it, lighter, lighter, so much lighter. The perform I mean it, it drives like a, a high performance vehicle. Yeah, well, well, you got I think guys eight. that are doing heavy working but probably you, prefer the steel frame. You know, you probably have yeah. high strength probably. steels now that have made up that ground yeah. tremendously. Yeah. So yeah. It, 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 the aluminum when you go to a body shop. To repair aluminum is no way. three times the cost. No, yeah. no way. Or more. Just a whole different level of technical well, welding. Why repairing yeah. aluminum stuff here? Yeah. <laughs> the welding takes Not a whole new skill set. It's a but yeah. parity Much between more electric and CNG will provide incredible jobs oh, for your yeah. auto manufacturers. Well, it just gives you a variety. Imagine the drilling and fracking. And snatch and is locally missing. We, we can't it's store cheap. enough of it. And it's plenty. We don't start to put natural gas And it's clean. That's the other thing. It's very clean. So is that happening? Yeah. No. no. Because why? Because to today, the auto manufacturers are not incentivized at all to put anything CNG. carbon. But people still like gasoline cars. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, still well, the well, majority. That's still, the thing. CNG. They really don't want the aluminum. I mean, they don't want the uh, the majority is still the electric. Right. Yeah. So don't no. understand. No, the majority. Do they want the hybrid? It doesn't work yeah, for a truck. Hybrid are more. Hybrid are definitely more. Much more Absolutely. than just electric. Yeah, really so is hybrid working? But yeah, no, so but not great. For trucks, uh, for small, for small, small cars, they still yeah. like yeah. gas. Hippies yeah. like it. Yeah. Like yeah. No working yeah. guys gonna. Again, it's a millennial. It's a millennial power. thing. Right. It's a hippie millennial Plus, thing. A hundred percent. Most, right, most, I most like five point seven liter. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
together power. Two miles a gallon. You're like 5.7. I like big engines. Yeah, he wants two miles a gallon. A little bit more at the pump doesn't make as much of a difference. Not everyone likes cubic engines. Everybody does. Everyone wants cubic engines. So, Mr. President, we run some we run some CNG trucks, right? Semi trucks, and it actually is more. It's prevalent. You can get it, but it's a lot less power. It's a lot less. Miles per gallon. Uh, there's, really? there's, there. If you don't get, there's a fifty cent tax credit. If you don't get that, it really is not feasible. Wait, but you said it doesn't have the power and it doesn't run as well. Other than that, it's wonderful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, but isn't also a logistical issue with that? It's, you can't, it's not as prevalent. It's so you not have as to sort prevalent. Of plan routes it, that may not be the most effective uh, route. Well, we, not really. It's I mean, we're, yeah, we're yes there. and no. Yes. Yeah, well, what do you mean trucks? What do you do what, when you say you work there? We, our, our main thing we do, we haul mail for the postal service. Oh, I see. <laughs> so you know the difference, right? I'm a so you have every kind. Is there anything like gasoline? No. Well, diesel is truck. Well, diesel. How is, how is yeah. diesel compared to regular gasoline? Right. For oh, you, you don't see it. Well, diesel in a semi, you can't run gasoline in a semi. Right. Yeah, yeah, big tractor. Oh, I so, see. No, but why, why can't you? But you can run It's not as strong. CNG. It doesn't have the BTUs that it that diesel has. But in mail trucks, you, you use, so you're using diesel. Well, semi, we're long And haul. you've tried with the compressed gas? We, we don't do, move. We do run We, we run CNG. Them. We have some CNG trucks. And how do you find them? No, we don't like it. But <laughs> the CNG is, the pricing is, 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 good. is really good. But you said it's more expensive. Well, well, why? Because no, but you need yeah, because because the evolution of the technology. You need to develop the internal combustion engine. has been around for a long time. The technology of the CNG shut off because everyone went to battery. Awesome. But 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 the, the truck costs more. Touching on uh, touching on the trucking. The availability, the distance, you have to keep refueling. <laughs> 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 there, so there's issues with it that aren't oh, okay. that hard to overcome. But but you gotta understand the, the world is going either electric or fossil fuel. No, they're going to be well. But freight is holding back. We could be doing more business. You can't get. <laughs> and there's two reasons why. You can't get trucks. You can't get trucks. We have, we have, uh, uh, <laughs> you can't buy them. Trucks are very no, no, no. Uh, people trucking is very tight. People want to go into the business <laughs> they don't for make two reasons. Good. And now it's gotten worse. It's not, so he, can't, he doesn't, trap, sorry. Yeah. No, please, if I could, you, 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 can you can't get trucks. Yeah, you can't get somebody in the seat. You can't get somebody in the seat. Yeah, so, so Mr. President, you know, you know while, while trucking, um, it's a tough job to go into. Thank you. Uh, so that's number one, and they made it a lot tougher with e -log. So e -log limits, uh, any time the wheel turns in a truck, it's part of the log for the day, and it's a 14-hour day. So let's say if someone is half an hour from home in their truck, and they're a long-haul trucker, they literally have to pull over on the side of the road and stop. They can't go home. So they don't even want to do it anymore. So we have people that don't want to go into the trucking business, and we can't get we can't get enough drivers attracted to haul our product around the country. Does a lot of this get solved with some of the automated? Yes, but it's a long ways away. That is. I mean, happen. some of it is. Some of it. You're gonna have pitch and catch for 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 that, but it's still a long. You need that last mile. You need some. So you there. say you can, you don't have manufacturers that can make enough trucks? No, they're making trucks. No, they're you can't get drivers. Can't get drivers. Can't get drivers. Can't get drivers. But the regulations are so tough. Soon you won't need them. <laughs> so you'll be uh, driving by themselves. Right. And we've all seen it. Yeah. That guy going 90 driver. miles an hour trying to make up time, he's working it every really. day and it, it pays. Mm -hmm. When you have the limitations, you can't do it. These guys who drive inexperienced well, drivers who just came out of school. You mean they can only drive so much? Mm -hmm. Yes. Or, but like a pilot. E-logs. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yes, exactly. So the e-logs so basically know shuts them down. So they have a, a method that you shut down a truck? So every truck now wow. is on an e-log. Okay, you're, you're, you're the electronically the lost. Related, so is if that truck, if he turns after 14 hours, if he's got 20 minutes to get home, he can be fine, huge, and actually done, done trucking. Yeah, you, you so could you buy an older truck and shut down? No, no, everything's e-log. No. You have to convert it. I never knew that. It has to be e-log. So the average guy used to be able to do it because you say, hey, I'm willing to work a 12 or 14 hour day. So I, I can make up the difference by doing it. Now if they're limited to eight hours, they're sitting there for the other. No, it's meant for safety. And they, can drive, all they can drive for 11. They can't have to be home within 14 hours. What happens if you have two drivers? Uh, the team, uh, a tandem or a team. You can continue. You can, can continue, continue, but again, it's, it's, it's more expensive and it's rare. 
right? So, uh, so it's very tough. Our big, if you were to ask me five years ago, my biggest problem in business would have been, you know, imports are always number one that we're battling against. What I would say almost tied with that today is transportation. But I can't move my material. How's Amazon doing? Oh, they're doing great. Well, I am, I am, I'm they're doing great. Well, well, they're is that a business money. that's going to work out? Well, well, I don't you know. know. If, if you, if you, you deliver something, away, no. you pick it up, you deliver it's, it's it. It's a fact. How do you it's, make it's money? Well, well, you, you can lose money for 20 years. You get a hall pass on doing You decimate everybody else. You're going to then own the industry. Exactly. That's what yeah, he's doing. Other guys are starting now. Walmart and all these. I just they're all to, starting the drop shipping. I just that was wonder. a great if call. I, if I could. Huh? That was a, a great call. And no, they're, oh, ripping, they're ripping off the post office. I think, I think they're all spot on. <laughs> no, <laughs> the postal service can do. You can, you no, can, no, but 40% of the business you do is with Amazon. No. And they don't pay 2%, enough money. 2% to the postal service. Wow. They say it's 40. No. They actually said it's 40. You mean maybe it's 2% of the package? Maybe because you're using compressed gas, you can't count. <laughs> okay, I, 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 I agree with that. I, I have a lot of information on postal service if you ever want to get there. But if I could, one, just a quick one. How is the postal Something service that, doing? Actually, it's, I, I, I've been dealing with them for 40 years, and I think they're the best they've ever been. They have, really? great, they have great management. They basically break even other than the pension that they're been pre funding. The unfunded pension liabilities. It's crazy. Six billion. Six billion. But if I could, as a, as, as a solution rather than a problem, if I do think that the government should do a 500 mile piece of road, dedicate a lane on both sides for autonomous trucks. The heart. Talk about a driver sort shortage. It's These wrong. trucks, the the all the technology is there right now. There isn't any reason, but you that to not have autonomous trucks. So you other than putting right them attention. with the cars, you can't put them with the cars. So why, just, why can't you put them? They, with the the, the insurance, the regulations, <laughs> the states, the the perception. But if you would put a separate lane, just how uh, safe is autonomous? It's absolutely safe. If you, it's an amazing on, concept. Know, would you? Yeah, unbelievable. I saw a drive. So weird. Start, when you so know, weird. I saw. I saw, I saw a car driving with a drive. You can have a partial. You can put some of these truck drivers say, "Hey, you can work a 15-hour day now. You're just riding along. You're pitching. No, pitching catch. You can just do. I still don't see. I'm scared of those. You see those cars driving by themselves. That's that I don't understand. I don't understand why Amazon, when you they're getting a bulk rate, that bulk rate is actually sucking up and using the postal services capacity, which forces them to actually add. Why, if you're using up that much capacity in the bulk rate, why don't you just charge them more? It's the same. Why are you rate? charging them more? Everyone at this table can have get to that rate. Uh, yeah, you get that rate. No, I have everyone at this table gets that That's the point. <laughs> you're, you're, you know, they I, should be I, charging more. Mr. President, a little off the subject. I have a, a little something. It's a little present. The head they rabbi of Ukraine. They want you to mail more. some of the rabbis in Israel. They, so they, they want everybody at this table. They do, but they don't understand the cost of it because they're inefficient. In the, in the Hebrew religion, uh, they wait for the Messiah to higher. come. Wow. So the Messiah Moshe the Ben David, if you take their name, written, you see where it adds up 424. If you take your name, Donald Trump, and then there's your name, it adds up to 424. It's a one. It's, it's something that is very, very it's unbelievable. Yeah. unbelievable. What is that? Mean? It's like you have the same numbers than my Messiah, you know. <laughs> Meaning, yeah, it's like not good. It's like best. It's like it's like it's like miracle. Why four twenty four? It's like name of Messiah. You know? That's the, that's his name, Messiah. The Messiah comes out to four twenty four. No, no, it's, it's not the number. It's exactly the number. Your name, your name, and the numbers it adds up to his name. It's four twenty four, four twenty four, and the Jews. So it's like Messiah is the person that's come to save the whole world. So it's like you're the savior of being. That's for you. It's amazing. We, we just saw that we're like, wow. <laughs> It's amazing, you know. It can't hurt. It can't hurt. <laughs> so, all, 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 all Jew people of Ukraine, they're praying of you, you know. They're, they're like, show it to Jared. He'll explain. Good. He's like, he's like. Is she going to Israel on the 14th? Yeah. Is she gonna go ahead of I don't think so. So they were gonna spend a billion dollars building. I spent a hundred and fifty thousand. Really? We took a building and we just 
So we're going to spend a billion dollars on a uh, on the whatever the embassy in Jerusalem, and they had a paper from one billion one hundred million. Wow! And David Friedman called me up. He said, "Would you put the existing building that we have?" On of course, site? you know, it's consolidated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, the same, location. the you know, same, like, great location. Yeah. <laughs> Take a corner of the building. <laughs> and we'll have it. Nothing to do, you know, just change so, the name. So I said, you have to make it 150. Make it 250. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Versus a billion one. <laughs> it'll, be open, it'll be open in two weeks. Yes. 14, yeah. It took like three months to build. Amazing. Amazing. So we have an embassy that's amazing. amazing. And it's the other way. If we, spend, if, we spend yes. Yes. if we spent a billion dollars, so we would have spent a billion, it would have been 10 years before it opened if that ever happened. Of course, of course. Yeah. Since they're Jewish, you understand what I just said. Now, that doesn't mean they're not going to knock it down. They had to so count the names. So they had to go out and buy a site for a tremendous amount of money. But they have a building on an existing site that's a better location, the best location. Incredible. It's even set back. It's a fairly large site. It's set back, which is good for saying. And I heard other countries wow. that are joining in. And yeah, no, they're they're see the so they're taking it. They took a corner of the building, fixed it for $150,000. So instead of a billion, they spent a hundred million. Yeah, it's amazing. amazing yeah. One of my favorite. Nicole, he says, you, like you saved the world, yeah. Mr. President. <laughs> For 150,000 versus a billion. And we have a better location, because there was no location. No. no. Like the UK embassy. <laughs> <Not like the UK. laughs> Mr. President, can I share with yeah. them about what the rabbi gave to you? I think it's yeah, special. Since you since you're Jewish, you understand the Messiah. And all that. So the head rabbi of Israel, in Israel, they took the president Donald Trump his name, and they came out to the same lettering as the Messiah. So it's a very special thing that they had it over today. So my my father, it's the same number, you know. It's amazing how how it's, how it's count, you know. Really, they were very close friends in the I, as, a, as a kid, I went to the, uh, uh, his home in Israel and had, had dinner there. Uh, very young, and it was, it was amazing. I mean, it was, now I realize it's significant. Oh, but um, my dad was there and talked for two years when he gave back to Sinai. He was pissed off. So, folks, I want to thank you all very much. I'll get thank back. You. Thank you. It's so not a much. long trip. <laughs> <laughs> You don't have to wait for lights and stuff like that either. Every time I'm you know, moving with about 125, you never see anything. It's like, it's, so it's incredible. And they do a great job, the Secret Service great does, job. but we have like 115 guards. So it's not that easy to come mm -hmm. over. Don always says, oh, can we do it outside of the White House? I guess, I don't know. There's we a had, campaign. That's White House Council. A ridiculous I'd, be happy, I'd be happy to do it in the White House. There's a ridiculous campaign thing about that, which I think is wrong. Doesn't make sense. They spend a fortune getting over here. Doesn't the other way, it costs nothing. Of course, nothing. It has to come to you. It has to be a mistake. I'm sure it's a mistake. But I like this hotel anyway. We can't get better. <laughs> yes, <laughs> <laughs> we guys got that. So do I. You know. And uh, but I have a MAGA hat I wear all the time. If you can find it, I'd yeah, give it to me. Where is it? Mr. President, in the meantime, we'd like, on behalf of this group here tonight, to offer you. Two honors. One is the great Teddy Roosevelt in 1913 created the famous speech, The Man in the Arena. And we framed it here tonight, and like everybody to sign it, on your behalf. But it says here, and this is you against all odds, never having run for office, taking on 17 plus Republican candidates and winning substantially. So we're going to win for you again. Yes, sir. 2020. The man in the arena, Teddy Roosevelt, 1913. The famous speech you've heard of it. It's not the critic, et cetera, et cetera. The credit belongs to the man who is actually in the arena, whose face is marred by dust and sweat and blood, who strives valiantly, who errs, who comes short again and again and wins again, <laughs> but never gives up. Never will his heart be with those cowering souls that know neither victory nor defeat. Right. This is for you. We're all going to sign it as it goes around the table tonight. You don't have to sign it. You know, I'd rather have it. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Why, well, you want to be worth something? <laughs> <laughs> wow. Something. You know, I, I want I'm Jack back. Nicholas yeah, to sign it, but don't take it. All right, sign it. You have a shot. Don't put it on the screen. Don't put it on the screen. Don't put it on the screen. Don't put it on the screen.
But that is post the event. In is he a good guy to work with? He's a great man. He's a good guy. Yes, yeah, sir. Well, we, we were looking at deals years ago. We've had no stand up for over a decade. So, so. Oh, he told me he went over to the club. Do you have I, we don't have the pen. We'll, get it, we'll, get it, we'll, get it, we'll take care of that after the president. Yeah, we'll <laughs> Should we sign it or what? Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. Okay. 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 Put, put it here. Yeah. See, the other side doesn't want to go to South Korea. Which I understand. <laughs> Let me see this. Yes. Oh. You see it? Right. Not yet. It is. <laughs> 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 no, no, I like no, this. No, we're giving it to you. Except the pictures, Chris. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> the, the frame. <laughs> the frame. <laughs> the frame. <laughs> the frame. Uh, well, thank you all. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That's very nice, huh? Easy job, right? Yeah, absolutely. Good. Hold that for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I got it. Mr. President, I also have the job. Thank you. The paper Good. so you can actually look at it. Perfect. You're welcome, uh, sir. Thanks, everybody. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Good to see you. Good to see you. Yeah, we got it. Thank, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Very much. Appreciate, appreciate everything. Good job. Keep up the good work. Thank you. I will. Yeah, I will. you're doing a great job. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. This was fun tonight. Don't listen thank to thank those idiots. Thank you. Very good. Everybody, please stay in the room, if you would. I Thank you so much, Brian. Thank you. 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 Thank you.